the end of the exhibition series here in the UK, a long training camp. Um, how's things in the in the dressing room after today's game? Uh, a little disappointed, obviously, the way the game went. I thought we were we were very good in the first period, and we took the second period. We weren't very good. We were a bit disjointed in the third period. Again, we came out strong. So. We, we got taught a lesson, obviously, by a very good team that you can't take a period off, and especially where we're going. If, if we take a couple of shifts off, we're going to get punished. So it's uh, it's not all doom and gloom, but it's a lesson learned. Yeah. And it's a, it's a training camp like, like you've probably never had before. It's been, it's been two weeks, four games, and it's going to be a, a World Championship experience that we'll, we'll, we'll not forget. Obviously, the players, you'll, you'll want to remember for, for a long time to come. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a, a very intense couple of weeks on the ice twice a day, every day. So it's... It's been a, a lot of preparation crammed into that time and uh, everyone's really looking forward to it. I, I, me personally, I, I can't wait to get out there and uh, t test ourselves against the best in the world. Yeah, and are you, are you looking at the, the rosters that are building for, for the other teams? Yeah, it's... Uh, against <laughs> little old GB and you've got like, Canada and Russia and America there announcing it, NHL. It, so. It's very impressive. I mean, there's no easy game you can point at over there. Every team you play, it's got a couple of superstars on it from the NHL, so it'll be uh, it'll be fun to go and play the best in the world and see how we match up. And the, the atmosphere over the last couple of years has been noticeable. Whatever the regular season holds in the Elite League, once that's done and everybody pulls on that GB shirt, it's just everybody for GB and it's a, a huge team mentality like that. Absolutely, and I think uh, we, we, all the boys, it, it's been like that. We've been like a family for, for a long, long time now. It's, it, it's something you look forward to every year is coming and, and, and pulling together at the end with, with everybody that you've played with and against for the past 10, 15 years. So it, it's a great experience and everybody looks forward to it. And obviously we're being realistic. But after Budapest last year, dare to dream and yeah, absolutely. Out. I mean, why why not? We're not going all out there just to take part. Why not try and make some waves? The two week camp, how's it been from the from your point of view? Yeah, pretty good. I think uh, we've accomplished so far what what we wanted to, and you know, got to look at uh, the players for an extended period of time. Uh, obviously, after a long season in the Elite League, it, it is tough to get the the absolute best out of guys because they are fatigued and uh, to jump right into a training camp uh, at this level and ask them to, to keep pushing, it, it is tough. We realize that, but uh, I thought the guys were were good uh, throughout this camp and um, made some tough decisions for us and some, still some tough decisions going forward in, in terms of uh, what lineup plays and what night. And, um, but I think a lot of a lot of learning curves as well. Uh, obviously, everybody's got to kind of get on on board with the new program and uh, how we want to play. And I think that, that that's what these four games were about. And it's it's been trending in the right direction. Obviously, from the from the first few days in Coventry, the, the Italy game, the Hungary game, and it's kind of going in the in the right direction towards obviously what's coming up in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, well, we would have preferred to to win tonight, but um, we certainly. We'll have a lot to, to cut on video and, and learn from. I think that that's that's the the purpose of these games is you know to to, to learn from you know and and we can use the, that video footage as teaching tools and um, you know guys are still getting used to each other you know still uh, throwing different bodies that never played together uh, and I think that that's important and obviously still team building as well. The Training camp has been unlike any other that group and I've had in, in recent memory. Obviously, it's, it's two weeks. Normally, you have a, a camp, a couple of games, and then you're off to your, your World Championship. The tournament that's coming up is unlike any GB you've played over the last 25 years. Does it, does it still kind of sink in what's going to happen in, in a couple of weeks' time? Um, I don't think it'll actually really sink in until you're in the mix of it. But uh, no, the guys, look, they earned it last year. I was there. It was my first season uh, as a part of this club. and. Um, you know, you could sense the the pride and the passion that they play with, and uh, I really felt that they earned their way into this tournament, and I'm really excited and really happy for them. Um, and anybody that's a newcomer to this team will follow suit, and uh, they, you know that's the, I guess that's the ethos going forward. You mentioned you kind of called it a club. I think it is right. You've got the the teams from the different elite league teams playing against each other week in week out, but when they come to camp for GB. Everybody's on the same page, and they're fighting for GB, and it's kind of, it is kind of a team mentality like that. 
Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, you know a lot of these guys have been together since they were children, and uh, you know that's obviously they built strong bonds and uh, get to know each other very well. And then, you know, obviously with Pete Russell being uh, with these players for a long time, he knows them inside and out as well. And that's something I learned last year is uh, you know he, he finds out ways to get these guys motivated and get them ticking uh, together. And that's what it takes in these tournaments. Uh, everybody's got to play for each other and, and play for the club.